for this moment, we are about to factor out polynomials, particularly common monomial factor, or CMF. So here we have 24a squared b c cubed plus 18ab squared c squared minus 6ac squared. So bigyan ko na lang ko yun ng technique kung paano mabilis makapag factor out using CM, uh, factor out polynomials, particularly CMF. So una, tingnan natin si numerical coefficients, which are 24, 18, and 6. So hanapin niyo yung pinakamaliit na number dun sa tatlo. So, which is 6. Then, tignan nyo kung kaya niyang i-divide yung other 2. So, is 24 divisible by 6? Yes. Kaya niyang i-divide. Kaya niyang i-divide ni 6 si 24. So, you will have 4. Tama? For 18, kaya bang i-divide ni 6 si 18? Yes. So, kapag din-divide si 6, si 18 by 6, you will have uh, 3. So, ibig sabihin, 6 will be uh, one of the common monomial factor. Next po, hanapin yung variable na meron dun sa tatlo. So, as you can see, pare-pareho silang may A. Tingnan po yung variable A na walang exponent or pinakamaliit ang exponent. So, we have here uh, squared to the first, to the first. So, ang pinakamaliit, si to the first. So, yun ang i-consider natin. Next po, tingnan naman kung lahat may B. Merong B, merong B, wala. So, ibig sabihin, hindi common si B on all terms. So, huwag natin siya ilagay. Look at C. May C, may C, may C. So, kunin yung may pinakamaliit na exponent, which is C squared. So, ito yun na yung magiging common factor natin. Now, ano yung lalagay doon sa loob? First, we have three terms or trinomial. Copyain po natin ito at saka ito. And then you just simply divide each by the common factor. So with that, we have 24a squared bc cubed divided by the common factor. So para mabilis lang, cancel out so, 24 divided by 6, that will be 4. Lagyan nyo sa taas kung nasaan yung may malaking number. Next, i-cancel out yung parehong variable. So, we have here a squared. Dito, isa lang. So, may matitirang isa. Kasi, 2 minus 1, that will be 1. So, yung, yung matitirang num, uh, variable, ilalagay sa taas dahil nandun yung may squared. Mas mataas yung exponent. Next, wala namang B sa ilalim, so iwan ng si B. Para kay C, so 3 minus 2, that will be 1. So C to the first, ilalagay sa taas. Kasi, nasa taas, so yung may mas malaking exponent. So, ang natira sa'yo ay 4AC. So, yun ang ilalagay mo dito. Next, ito naman, i-divide sa kanya. So, that will be 18AB squared C squared. I-divide by the common monomial factor. So, 18 divided by 6, that will be 3. Then, cancelled na si A, kasi magkamukha magkamukha. So, A divided by A, that will be 1. So, cancelled na lang yun. Now, B, wala namang B sa ilalim, so E1 si B squared. For C squared, magkamukha magkamukha, so automatic cancelled out. Ang natira po sa inyo, si 3B squared. So, yun ang ilalagay dito. Next po, Ito naman, i-divide sa kanya. So, kung mapapansin nyo, magkamukha magkamukha lang. 6ac squared, 6ac squared. So, makakancel out lahat yan. Pero, hindi pwedeng walang matitira. So, kagaya na sinabi ko sa inyo, any term divided by itself is always equal to 1. So, 1 yung inalagay nyo siya. So, kagaya ni bawa ng 4 divided by 4, 1 po yun. So, kung magkamukha lang po yung nasa taas at nasa baba, kailangan may sagot. Hindi porket na cancel out lahat, 0 ang ibig sabihin. So, ang factors po ng ating given trinomial ay 6ac squared multiplied by 4ac plus 3b squared minus 1. So, ito po yung tinatawag natin common monomial factor.